السلام عليكم good evening good evening عليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته good evening how are you الحمد لله thank you how are you doing how is your study it's fine what how are you الحمد لله did you finish last lecture on time yes we finished okay on time so it finished i think uh, five minutes ago no right? it's finished uh, just now it finished when <laughs> When no. No, miss. Oh, okay, no. Okay, no problem. Okay, welcome everyone. Uh, let's take the attendance. Um, Rama Jabali. Yes, miss. Yes, Rama. Iman Hajali. Iman. Okay, not here. Um, Thuraya. Yes, miss. I'm here. Okay, Duma. Muhammad Namus. Not here. Mutab Sarmini. مصعب لبنى صباح يا مس امير اوكي عبد الغني سكاف يا سهير احمد دريعي ام هير احمد ار يو هير يس ام هير تيتشر اوكي اساور ساير Not here. Ala uh, Rashid. Fadal Muhammad. Not here. Uh, Asma Bilal. Sultan Badawi. Mahmoud Yassouf. Yes, yes, here. Okay, Ahmed Hawash. Yes, Prof. Okay. What al Haji Yasin? Yes, sir. What al do you hear us? What? Okay, what al Wasal al Lush? Yes, I'm here. Noor Nasrallah. Yes, I'm here. رؤى سرماني رؤى اوكي نوت هير ام اني وان اي ديدنت منشن ذير نيم يس بروف مي واتس يور نيم ايمان الحاج علي اوكي جريت اي منشن بات اي اي ثينك يو you weren't here yet. No problem. Um, we have some students joining. Okay. Um, before starting this lesson, can you please remind us what did we have last lecture? Uh, yes, what did we, we have... talk about last lecture? Yes, please. We have the writing process. Mm -hmm. uh, writing process. Uh, how how many process? How many steps we have in writing process? Uh, it's uh, six. Uh, four. Four four steps. Four, right. Four, six, yes. Okay, 
the first one is rewriting, right? Right. Yeah. Right. What does it mean, rewriting? Uh, choose the, the topic. Uh, yeah. Does it mean like when I start writing or before I start writing? Before I, uh, I uh, writing. Very good. Before yeah. I start writing. So I need first yeah. to choose the topic to decide what I want to to write or talk about. I I need to make like brainstorming or brainstorm, which uh, which is like a way of gathering like ideas or generating ideas about the topic. And then I need to organize my ideas, what uh, the idea that I want to talk about, what the idea that I want to like uh, to put to put it away. Okay. This is yeah. stage number one, which is pre-writing. So in this, um, in this phase or step, I, um, I haven't started writing yet, right? In this stage, I'm just like organize idea, gathering idea, um, think about the topic. Uh, I I haven't started writing yet. And step number two, what do we have? <laughs> Drafting. Drafting. What the meaning of drafting? And uh, 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 information without organization. Very good. Like to, to start writing. To start writing uh, the first draft, which is not the final version. Okay. Yani, uh, when you uh, finish writing the draft, you are uh, not ready to like to deliver your writing to your instructor or your teacher because it's not ready yet okay so we will start writing which is uh, this uh, is called drafting so just writing ideas without like um taking into consideration like the grammar the uh, mistakes uh, the sentence structure okay just start writing the uh, idea that I organized in my mind. Uh, stage number three. Uh, reviewing. Review, review, review. Reviewing and revising. Okay. Reviving. So after I started writing draft, I will uh, I will need to to check what I have written to check if there like if if I have an unnecessary information. Uh, anything uh, I need to like to drop or to delete uh, after having the the draft, I need to revise or review what I have written. Stage number four. Rewriting. To rewrite the draft, okay, and write the final copy or final version of uh, the um the paragraph for example and here i need to proofread you know that you remember th this word proofread is like you or to like to check uh, the spelling to check the grammar to correct them okay uh, you see how many steps i go through when i need to to write a paragraph it's not just bring like a paper and um uh, bin and start writing. No, it's not like this. I need to think about it. I need to uh, generate ideas. I need like to make uh, some, for example, some listing, for example, point number one, point number two. Uh, this is called like thinking about the topic before starting uh, writing the paragraph. It's not like a matter of just bringing a pen and paper and start writing. No, I need to generate idea. I need to think about ideas. I need to check grammar. I need to check spelling. Spelling like how the letters are formed inside the word, right? For example, uh, have I misspelled the word? For example, the word like L-I-K-A. E, sorry, or L I K, just okay. L I K, this is um, wrong spelling, okay. So I need to add, for example, E uh, at the end of the word, okay. So when I 
think about letters in, inside the word, this is called spelling, which is in Arabic at Okay? So let me share the screen. Is it clear? Yes. Do you see my screen? Okay, great, Lubna. Thank you. Uh, we talked about those notes, right? And we had we had this table, right? Right. Okay, great. I think we stopped at uh, this table. Uh, we have here some tips, like some pieces of advice. A paragraph should consist of um, topic sentence, okay, which is the most important sentence in your whole paragraph. After that, we have supporting sentences. What do they support? They support the topic sentence, okay? So they, uh, like, they return to the main idea, which is in the topic sentence. After supporting sentences, or we can call them, we can call them like body, okay? Uh, supporting sentences or the body. After the body, we have concluding sentence, like one sentence as conclusion. A good topic sentence is a complete sentence with a subject, verb, and controlling idea. Okay, we had it before, the difference between topic and controlling idea, right? Yes. Okay, so the topic, which is the general subject of your uh, paragraph, while the controlling idea is the specific idea that you choose in order to, uh, to talk about. Mama, Okay. Um, for example, learning English. This is a topic, right? Or this is a title. Learning English. Here we have topic and we have controlling idea. The, the topic, which is the subject, يعني موضوع or الفكرة, okay, the idea, uh, the, the main idea or the general idea of your paragraph. For example, what is the topic here? It is English. So what is the controlling idea? What is the specific idea that I choose about the topic I choose to write about for example learning okay so learning is controlling idea English is the topic which is more general okay so concerning um, the good topic sentence it uh, should have topic and controlling idea and it it must be complete sentence Okay, what does it mean, complete sentence? It means like to have subject, verb, and complement. Okay, yani I, I, I can't write a topic sentence as, for example, phrase. What does it mean, phrase? It means uh, phrase is not complete sentence. For example, when I say, my friend, this is a phrase, but not a sentence. So it can't be, a topic sentence because it's name topic sentence it na it's name sentence so it must be a sentence it must be a full sentence or a complete sentence which contains the subject verb and complete thought or complete meaning okay um number 2 is neither neither yani not okay neither too general nor too specific يعني أنا أنا على أن لا تكون too general ولا تكون too specific يعني لا عامة كتير ولا specific كتير okay it must be like direct okay it must be um, simple and certain it clearly states the main idea of the paragraph but doesn't include specific details okay so it uh, it tells the reader about the main idea. The topic sentence tells the reader about the main idea, but it doesn't include specific details. Because if you 
include specific details in the topic sentence, so no need to write the rest of your paragraph. Okay, so you need like to have the details in the body, not in the topic sentence. Okay. Um, a topic sentence is usually the first sentence in the paragraph. So, uh, talking about the placement, like the position, placement, موقع, the topic sentence, uh, where is it? Uh, the where where is the placement of topic sentence? It is as the first sentence in the paragraph. So you need to start your paragraph with a good topic sentence. Is it clear? Yes. Yes. Do you have any question up till now? I see, but the لفظ كلمة تفاصيل details or details. No details. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Okay, um, let's go to the second part of the paragraph. The first part, which is topic sentence. The second part, which is supporting sentences, or you can uh, call them like body. Okay, the body, the same as supporting sentences. So good supporting sentences explain or prove the topic sentence. It means like they support the topic sentence because they are talking about the same idea that already included in the topic sentence, okay? So good supporting sentences are specific and factual. Factual, it means like real, facts, okay? Specific and factual, um, yani having real information, okay? Can be examples, or explanations. So how can I write many sentences in order to support just one sentence, which is the topic sentence? How can I like generate ideas or um, like writing many uh, sentences in order to support just one sentence? How can I do that? I need like to add examples about the topic. I need to explain. Explanations, it means like sharih. Okay, I need to explain the idea by different words. Okay, like to talk about the same idea, but in different words. It's uh, This is called explanation. To explain the idea, to give examples. Okay, for example, if you are going to write about how to learn English. Okay, this is a topic. So, you can include in the body, uh, for example, examples or explanations. You can add your experience as an example of how did you learn English, for example. Okay, so this is examples in order to support the topic sentence, in order to have it in your supporting sentences or in the body. Okay. So you can add example, you can add explanation, you can elaborate or explain the um, the main idea that is included in the topic sentence, but uh, just yani, explain the main idea, but you are talking about the same idea, not adding anything uh, new, just explain the idea. This is part number two. Part number three, a good concluding sentence which is the conclusion okay so it signals the end of the paragraph when i reach the concluding sentence so it that means that i uh, like reach the end of the sen uh, the end of the paragraph okay so because it is the last sentence of your paragraph so it is the end of your paragraph. Uh, it summarizes the important poise, points briefly or restate the topic sentence in 
um, different words. In the conclusion, I can do many things, okay, in order to write a good conclusion. The first one, the first um, technique, I can use it in the conclusion. I can summarize the main points. Okay, this is number one. Summarize like you lachis. I can summarize the important points and main main yani points mentioned in the in the body. Okay, briefly bechtisar. This is the first technique. The second technique, I can restate. What the meaning of restate? إعادة تشكيل أو إعادة صنع إعادة صياغة هيك شيء يعني. Please, uh, before like going ahead to translation into Arabic, try to explain the word into English. Okay, even if you make mistake, no problem at all. Okay, try just make a try uh, to uh, to explain the word in English. Uh, if you, for example, um, don't understand it at the end of uh, of this, like a trying, a trying, you can go to Arabic translation. But first, you need to try to explain the word into English, or you can give it a synonym. Okay, uh, restate it means like to say something, but in different way. Okay, to say the same thing but in different way, okay, or in different words. To restate the topic sentence, this is like a clever way. This is an intelligent way to write a good concluding sentence, like to restate the topic sentence, but in different words. Yani you can rewrite the topic sentence in different way. Or in different words, okay? Like you read صياغة topic sentence جملة الموضوع لكن بطريقة مختلفة أو بكلمات مختلفة. Okay, this um, uh, technique number two. We have also another technique to write a good concluding sentence, which is to write your own perspective, your own point of view, your own opinion. Okay, after finishing your um, the body or supporting sentences and you want to go to the concluding sentence, you can write in the conclusion your point of view, your opinion. Okay, so we have how many techniques? We have three techniques to write a, a good concluding sentence. First one, to summarize the important points mentioned in the body. Number two, to restate the topic sentence in different words. Number three is to write your own point of view or your own opinion. Okay? Keep those in mind, please. Um, the thing that is not acceptable in the conclusion is to write a new piece of information. That is not already included in the body. Yani, it's not acceptable to write new information or a new idea in the conclusion. Okay? You need to mention, to mention or to summarize the, uh, the points that are already mentioned in the, in the body. But you are not free like, to use um, new information or a new idea that is not included in the body, okay? So it is wrong, it is incorrect to add new information or a new idea or a new point in the conclusion, okay? For example, I will give you an example. I'm talking about skills to learn English. Okay, skills to learn English. So I focused in the body on only one skill, which is listening skill, for example. Okay, so I mentioned in the body um, the ways 
uh, to listen to English, for example, uh, I, I say, for example, I'm saying that uh, you need to listen um, to native speakers, you need to listen to songs, you need to listen to podcasts, um, you need, for example, to allocate um, like specific time uh, during the day, for example, uh, yeah. like like 30 minutes or one half, uh, w one hour uh, each day in order to listen to English, okay? So all the things that I mentioned in the body are about what? Listening skills, okay? Or listening skill. When I go to conclusion and I, for example, talk about um, for example, speaking skill, this is incorrect. Why? Because I didn't mention speaking skill in the body. Okay? So I need to stick to, stick to like Al-Tazambi, okay? The things that are mentioned in the body and not to add any think new in the conclusion okay so please don't add any um a new idea that you didn't mention in the body clear is it clear yes yes teacher yes yes, yes. okay yes. so so how many parts we have in the paragraph we have three parts the topic sentence the supporting sentences or the body and part number three concluding sentence or conclusion okay let's move let's have a look at those notes note number one there are no hard rules for how long a paragraph should be there is like no certain rule to say how long a paragraph should be. For example, is it, um, for example, five lines? Is, is it six lines? No hard rule for that. But uh, the paragraph, like the average um, um, amount of words, should be like 80 to 100 words in a paragraph. Okay? This is like the average size of a paragraph. It should be like from 80 words to 100 words in a paragraph, okay? When I want to count the words, this is one word, second word, third word, okay? Um, word For example, number four, five, six, seven, okay? Eight, nine. Also, if I have a or an or the, it is counted as one word. Okay, so a is a word, so it's counted as one word. يعني فيني أعدك كلمة. Okay. Okay. The paragraph has one main idea. Please focus on this note because it is very important. Point. Okay, if we are talking, for example, about teachers uh, as a topic, so I need to stick to only one main idea, which is teachers. I I can't, for example, talking about teachers and uh, doctors, for example. No, I need to focus on only one main idea, which is how to learn English, how to learn to swim. Okay, this is only one topic or one main idea so the paragraph all the paragraph has only one main idea okay all the sentences are supporting only one main idea okay number oh. three okay do you have any question no no thanks okay it's Thank clear you. Thank you. Um, note number three, always indent before starting a paragraph. One or zero, sorry, 0 0.5 indentations are standard for English 
writing. This is very important. Who can tell us what the meaning of indent or indentations? Do you have any idea? أنت عادة نضع مسافة بين الفقرات. Uh -huh. Okay. So uh, how can I translate this when I need to to write a paragraph? How can I reflex like this uh, indentation in writing a paragraph? Uh, indent it means like مسافة. Very good. Okay. But uh, what does it mean? How can I put like indentation? or add indentation in my paragraph. What the thing that I need to do? I need to let uh, space uh, 0 0.5 uh, before uh, I start writing. Very good, before the beginning of the paragraph, okay? Uh, 0 0.5, uh, it is approximately like five letters, okay? Five letters. For example, there, how many letters we have here? One, two, three, four, five. So this is 1.5 indentation, okay? So I can drop this or delete this I and make it blank and make it empty okay i will show you like a practical example of the indentation indentation it means like a space of about five letters okay indentation it means like space farag and indent is like to make space yet it is the verb and this is the noun i will show you the meaning of the indentation. Okay. This is like a figure of paragraph. Okay. This is the shape of the paragraph. You see here the space. You see it in the beginning of the paragraph. You see this space. Yes, Prof. Yes. Why this? Uh, I, uh, main rule. It's a main this is rule. A, this uh, is a main rule, right? Yes. The indentation. Uh, you will see its benefits when you, uh, inshallah, in the next semester or next year, when you want to write an essay, an essay which means like maqale. An essay consists of many paragraphs. You will see its benefits the indentation when you need to write an essay because the indentation or the space here it marks or uh, yani it marks the beginning of each paragraph because i will have in the essay many paragraphs so i need to know where does each paragraph begin where does each paragraph start okay so the indentation function وظيفة الإندنتيشن is to mark يحدد okay, the beginning of each paragraph okay. for example if you have essay essay مقالة and مقالة consists of many paragraphs مقالة تألف نعدة مقاطع okay. so in the beginning of يعني each paragraph you will have indentation sorry يعني من شان نميز بين عدة مواضيع بالمقالة نترك بأول كل موضوع فراغ صح؟ No, you, you need like to mark each paragraph Paragraph not a موضوع, it means like مقطع Okay, so the indentation function is to mark or signal the beginning of the paragraph Okay يعني وظيفة يعني الإنتنتيشن هي تحدد لي إنه هاي بداية المقطع تمام أوكي أوكي uh, Because 
مثل ما خبرتكم انه بال بالسمستر القادم ان شاء الله او بالسنه القادمه رح تصيروا تكتبوا اسي الاسي هي عباره عن عده مقاطع تمام اللي هو حيكون في عندنا انتروداكشن بدي واحد بدي اثنين بدي ثلاثه بعدين كونكلوجن فانا عندي صار مثلا عندي اربع او خمس مقاطع فبدايه كل مقطع لازم يكون عندي اندنتيشن ليش لحتى اميز هذا مقطع هون بلش خلص بلش المقطع اللي بعده فوظيفه الاندنتيشن جدا مهمه هنصير المقاطع كلها تكون عن ذا سيم ايديا نفس الفكره بالاسي ايوه اكيد بس لا تستعجلوا يعني هلا خلينا بالباراجراف اوكي اوكي اكيد هي حتكون هو عمليه يعني توسيع من الباراجراف للاسي اوكي ذا سيم ايديا So the indentation is very important in writing, and it is um, like one of the characteristics of the academic writing. When you uh, have indentation or space in the beginning of the paragraph, so it means that your writing is formal, your writing is academic, okay? Uh, because if you, for example, uh, see like the books or the like formal writing uh, like books or novels or something you will find uh, in each paragraph we have this space okay uh, especially in research <تصفيق> or academic قليل. writing بس اذا يعني حطيتها بذهني بتعلم ممكن انا حد ذهني اوكي So this is the shape or format of the paragraph. But don't forget to add title in the middle of the page, right? Don't forget to add title here in the middle of the page. We need to start the paragraph with indentation or space, okay? How how much the space would be? It would be like five letters. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is space is about five letters. Okay, we need to like preserve the margins. You know the word margins? It means hawamish. Okay, like margins here and margins here. On the right and on the left. Hello again. Hello. Okay, let's complete. Okay, before the cut off, you were talking about the shape of the paragraph. I will share the screen again. Um, do you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Okay, great. So concerning the shape or format of the paragraph, it is very important to have like um, a good a good shape of the paragraph. Okay. Sorry, just a minute, moment. Okay, uh, it's very important to have like a good shape of the paragraph, like uh, to to write the title in the middle of the page, to uh, to have indentation in the beginning of the paragraph, to have like a similar indentation on the right and on the left. Okay, and to have like Uh, neat neat means like tidy okay like to have neat or tidy hand writing okay it is very important to have right handwriting okay just one moment yes uh, it's very important to have good handwriting handwriting means okay to have good nice 
and يعني um, clear hand writing. Okay. Okay, we arrived at um, note number four. We we read um, note number one, two, three. Yes, note number four. Who can read, please, this one? Uh, can I read? Yes, go ahead, please. Uh, use a capital letter at the beginning of each new sentence and use a period at the end. Mm -hmm. Very good. Use a capital letter at the beginning of each new sentence. How can I know that this is the beginning of a sentence? Uh, for example, if I start the sentence with, um, with it, so yani, with a new sentence, this is a new sentence. This is the start of the sentence. So I need to capitalize the first letter or to use capital letter. Okay. Um, at the beginning of each sentence, when I start uh, my paragraph with, for example, um, this sentence. So this is new sentence. Was when I need to write after the full stop. This is called full stop, right? نقطة. When I need to write after the full stop. So it's also called a new sentence. So I need to capitalize the letter after the full stop. Okay, I will, I will show you examples. For example, like this, um, this paragraph, okay. Here I, I start the paragraph with, or the sentence with capital letter, right? Right after the, Full stop, I start with capital letter, okay? But after the comma, al-fasile, I don't use capital letter, okay? For example, I have question mark, short istifham. So after the question mark, I need to use capital letter, okay? For example, I have exclamation mark. What the, does it mean, exclamation mark? Isharat at taajjub and after the exclamation mark, I need to use capital letter. So after full stop, after uh, question mark and exclamation mark, I need to use capital letter. Okay, and use a period at the end. Yani, uh, period, it means like full stop, نقطة. Uh, at the end of the... At the end of the sentence, I need to use a full stop. Can, can you write it, please? Examination mark. Yes, I will write it in the chat. Thank you for asking. Exclamation mark. It means like isharet al okay I wrote it in the chat it means this uh, sign okay this mark and this is called question mark this is called full stop or period. This is called comma. Okay. Yes, note number five. Yes, please, who can read it? Yes. Yes, go ahead, please. Informal paragraphs, you should not use no, no, uh, number five. Okay, the secret lies in unity, coherence, order, and completeness. Completeness, completeness. you remember those, um, 
those elements, unity, coherence, order, and completeness? Yes. yes. Okay, we talked about them much, okay, in the, I think, in the previous and the last one lecture. Uh, the secret lies يعني, يكمن السر in unity, coherence, order, and complete, completeness. If you need to revise uh, those elements, uh, you can go to page, I think, this one, page number nine, because we talked about them uh, a lot. Okay. Uh, you need to understand the the unity coherence order and completeness okay those who at, are attending each lecture i i think uh, they are familiar with those elements okay number six yes please who can read it can i read yes go ahead in formal in formal paragraphs you shouldn't use construction such as don't or aren't. Instead, you should write the words in full. For example, do not and are not. Thank you so much. Informal paragraphs, because formal, it means يعني, رسمي, okay? And the opposite of it, uh, it means informal. This, this is the opposite of the word formal. Okay? Because we are writing formal writing, formal paragraphs so we need to use formal words okay and using contractions contraction means like short form of the word like al ikhtisar okay contractions are not allowed in formal paragraphs because contractions are a little bit informal okay so uh, we are not allowed to, for example, to write don't or a rent because this is called contraction or short form of the word. Instead, you should write the words in full. For example, instead of saying or writing don't, you need to write it like this way. Do not. Aren't or not. Okay. Is it clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. We have two informal, غير رسمي. Uh, don't use. يعني in, when I say informal, so don't use. We don't use. We don't say don't. Does not. Doesn't. Aren't. Wouldn't. Can't. Won't. Instead of those, uh, which are acceptable, مقبولين, you use do not. Does not, are not, were not, cannot, will not. Okay. As you know, want is the abbreviation of this word, will not. Right? Okay. Who can read this one, please? Yes, go ahead. The two basic things about a paragraph are the, fo are the form and the content. The form is the most important. The form is the, the indentation. Indin indin indentation. 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 Form. Indentation. Do you know what point form is? If you are typing something in Word or on an email, point form is also called uh, bullets, bullets. Uh, which makes uh, shooting sounds. So bullet means you would put each new bullet me means you would put each new sentence on a new line. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. The two basic things about a paragraph are the form <clears throat> and content. Okay, the form which, me which means like the shape, a shakim, content, al madmoon. So those are very important to like to keep in mind the form and content, not only the content. 
is necessary. But also the form is necessary too. Okay? Uh, the form is the most important. The form is the indentation. As I show you here, for example, to leave um, indentation in the beginning, so this is an example of the form is to have like a good form like to to preserve the margins on the left and in the right so this is also called form to have good handwriting this is called good form okay so it is necessary and important to have good form in the paragraph okay and don't use point Form. Do you know what point form is? Point form, the same as you are writing sentences. For example, you will write like this one. Okay, this one, for example, or for example, writing sentences, for example, okay. And put full stop and start another one. Right, right. And put, for example, um, full stop. And skip a line. Sutter, and you will go with another sentence. Okay. This is not acceptable. Because you are writing here sentences. This is called point form. Like to make each sentence by its own okay this these are sentences like to write a sentence put full stop and skip a line go with another sentence this is not paragraph okay so don't use point form to write each sentence by its own okay so if you are typing something in word for example or on an email point form is also called bullet Bullet is like when you are having list. You know the word list? قائمة. One, two, three, four, five. For example, this this is called bullet. Or um, you are just making your sentences in a form of list. This is called قائمة. List, not a paragraph. Okay? So bullet means you should put each new sentence on a new line. But in, uh, in your writing, while you are writing a paragraph, don't use bullet form. Yani don't write each new sentence on a new line. Okay? So what should I do? I need to write the paragraph in this shape. Okay? For example, here I, I finished the sentence. So I don't need to go to a new line. So what should I do? I need to complete the second sentence in the same line. Okay? Because this is the shape or form of a paragraph. Don't use bullet form. Don't use point form. Don't write each new sentence on a new line. Okay? Is it clear? Yes, Yes. Do you have any question concerning this point? Are those helpful to you? Yes, sure. Okay, thank you. What do you mean by قواعد? يعني... No, no, no. You said so you need to understand them, not memorize them. Okay? Excellent. Very good. Yes. Like to apply them in your writing. Just. Can you repeat the last one, please? Which one? Uh, point form. Point form, uh, it means 
uh, or the bullet form, the same meaning, okay? Point form or bullet for, form. Bullet, it means like, um, يعني the word means like rasasa, okay? But uh, in this context, it, يعني it's not necessary its meaning, bullet, okay? Bullet form or point form, it means like when you write each or every new sentence on a new line, okay? Like you have list قائمه, and you write, for example, one sentence full stop, you go to a new line, two sentence full stop, you go to a, a new line, th third or three sentence full stop, etc. This is called bullet or point form, but it's not acceptable in writing a paragraph. Why? Because in this form, you are writing sentences, not a paragraph. I don't need to write each sentence or every sentence on a new line, okay? So what should I do? I need to apply this form. When I finish this sentence, this is sentence, right? When I finish this sentence, I don't go to the second line okay to write a new sentence right so what did i do i complete the second sentence beside it okay this is second sentence third sentence for example i complete it beside the previous one is it clear Is it clear? Uh, yes, the one who, the one yes, who asked. Yes, yes, great. Yani in this uh, note, I'm telling you not to use point form or bullet form. Yani not to write every sentence on a new line. No, I need to write all the sentences next to each other. Like to have at the end, to have this form. هذا الشكل, okay? Okay. Um, let's move to this text that you, uh, I think you prepared last lecture. You, you read it. And after that, you wrote a similar paragraph, right? As an assignment. Is it right? Yes. yes. Okay, uh, so last lecture, I asked you to, to read this text and to write uh, like a similar paragraph to, uh, to this paragraph. Uh, now we need to write this, uh, to read, sorry, to read this paragraph and answer uh, the questions um, below. Okay, yes, please, who can read? Can I? Can I? Yes, go ahead, please. Teachers do many things to help students. First, teachers make a plan for lessons and prepare their materials. Also, they help students become better people in life. They give advice to students about how to study and get better uh, grades. They uh, sometimes work in uh, teams. They work with the little, uh, with little kids and young people. In kind, kind, great, great uh, schools and universities. In kindergarten. kindergarten, 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 schools and uh, universities, they do uh, paper paperwork and correct students' writing. They uh, they also use computers and pictures to explain ideas. I like help, helping people and working with young people, so I want to be uh, a teacher.
lecture in in an elementary school. Okay, thank you so much. Yes, please, who can read? Can I read? Yes, me, go ahead. Me. Okay, uh, you okay. first and then... Uh... Who, who prof? Me or uh, she? Yes, uh, she the, the first half and you will complete the second half, okay? Yes, not a problem. Okay, so ladies first. Yes, go ahead. All time, ladies first. You are welcome. <laughs> Teachers do many things to help students. First, teacher makes plan plans for lessons and prepare their materials. Also, they help students be become better people in life. They give advice to student to students about how to study and uh, get better grad grades. They sometimes work in teams. They work yes, with little uh, kids. Thank you. And... That's enough. Thank you so much. Okay. Yes, go ahead, Ahmed. They they work they work with little kids and young people. No, uh, little kids. Little kids and young people in kindergartens, schools, and universities, they do paperwork and correct students' writing. They also use computers and pictures to explain ideas. I like helping people and working with young people. So I want to be, to be a teacher in an elementary school. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, do you have any difficult words in this context or uh, in this um, paragraph? You need me to explain it? Do you have any, do you face any new words? What does it mean, kindergarten? Uh, how word? do I know? Yes, uh, try to explain it in English, please. How can I say a kindergarten or explain this word if I don't know its meaning? No, sorry. Can the you explain we, uh, it in English? Uh, the place we uh, uh, take uh, give the um, uh, children. Yes. Um, uh, the uh, the place uh, we. Uh, uh, get the the children. Yes, uh, for example, the place it is care. The place it is care with a baby, not children. Uh not baby. Baby, I I think it's baby from like uh, zero to uh, two year, right? Uh, uh, they are called children or kids. Kindergarten. Yes. It is a school. Kids, yes. But yes. the children, it's the general. Yeah, children and kids are the same, but children are little, more formal. Little children, Masara. Sorry? Little children. Yes, little children, yes. L uh, children or kids are the same, but children are more formal than the word kids. Yani, but they are the same. Children are more formal. Okay, so I can explain it. For example, a school for children aged, A-G-E-D, aged, for example, uh, five and under. Aged, very good, yes. Aged with, with A-G-E-D. Okay. 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 I I will choose another word. Uh, what does it mean, elementary, or elementary school? Madaris is Sanawi. Can I explain? Can I explain? No, Sanawi. Uh, it's secondary, right? Abtidai. Yes. Beginning. Uh, yeah. Uh, the school, we can uh, we can say elementary. Sorry. We can say elementary school or primary school. Okay. Uh, 
ذا بليس ستودنت جيت ستارتنج او ستارتد تو رايتنج اند ريدنج يس فروم ايج فروم ايج وات سيفن سيفن ييرز سكس ييرز رايت سكس اور سيفن ييرز سكس يس ستارتنج فروم سكس ييرز of the child education <laughs> so it's a it's a school where um uh, children go in order to learn okay uh from the age six of a child's education okay uh, so how can i say madrasa uh, adadiya How can I say madrasa adadiya? Immediately, immediately school. Sorry? Immediately uh, school or middle school? Middle school, yes. In, in some countries, they are called uh, middle school or um, it's called in uh, many, many, many countries, it, it's called a preparatory school. Very good. Preparatory school. This is مرحلة الإعدادية. Uh, as uh, الثانوية, it's it called high school. Secondary school مو بتصير كمان. Yes, very good. High school or secondary school, very good. Okay. Um, let's um, let's do these questions. They are uh, easy. Let's do it fast. Yes. Do teachers do many things to help students? Can you answer this question? Yes. Yes. Go ahead, please. Teachers do many things to help students. Okay, this is correct. But I, when I ask by uh, starting with auxiliary verb, so I need to have answers like yeah. yes or no, right? Yes. 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 You can say, for example, yes, they do many things to help students. Okay? Okay. Yes, uh, question number two. Can I answer? Okay. Yes, go ahead, please. Yes, one of you, no problem. What do teachers do? Uh, they give advice to students about how to study and get better grade. Thank you. Do they work alone? What do they work with? Or who, sorry, who do they uh, work with? Yes, who can answer? Yes, yes, I. Yes, go ahead. Uh, no, they don't uh, work alone. Yes. They, uh, they sometimes work in teams mm -hmm. and uh, they work with uh, little kids and the young people. Okay, thanks so much. Do they work indoors or outdoors? What does it mean indoors and outdoors? Uh, it means inside or outside. Very good, like inside the building, okay, or your house, for example, and outside, uh, outside the building. Like inside the building, it means um, indoors. Outside the building, it means outdoors. Yes, can you answer, please? Uh, yes, uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, they work uh, indoors. They work indoors or outdoors? Yeah. Teachers, Indoor. where where do where do they work? 
uh, I choose indoors because uh, they work uh, at a school, at the school. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. Um, what does Joan like most about the job? Yes. Yes, go ahead. He like uh, helping people and working with young people. Okay, don't forget to add S to the verb. He likes. Okay, okay thank you. Number six. Where does he want to work? Can I answer? Yes, go ahead, please. Uh, he wants to be a teacher in an elementary school. He wants to be a teacher in an elementary school. Thank you so much um, for answering these questions. Okay, do you have any question? No, teacher. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, thank you uh, for your attendance and your hard work and your participation. Um, as um, an, an assignment, I will choose for you an assignment. We have on the same page, page number um, 14, we have practice one. Uh, I will show the screen again. Just to show you the assignment before uh, the time's up. Um, be, uh, on the same page, we have this exercise. Okay. This exercise in the red, you see. And we have this exercise, which is called practice on the same page, page number 14. So please do those exercises as an assignment. Those are very simple and easy. Uh, the first one is just to choose the best topic sentence, just to choose one of them. Okay, as a topic sentence, this is practice number one. Practice number two or exercise number two is to write a good topic sentence for this paragraph. Here we we uh, we have missing a topic sentence. We yani it means we don't have topic sentence here. So we need to write a good topic sentence for this paragraph. Okay. So please do the assignment on the same page, page number fourteen. Is it clear? Yes. Okay. Do you have any question? Sorry. Okay. I I took the attendance. Ella. Ella, Rashid. I'm after Rashid. Okay. I I had your name. No problem. Thank you. Okay, I wrote your uh, name as participant or attendant. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, take care. Don't forget the assignment. See you, inshallah, next lecture. Thank you. Thank you and goodbye. Good night. Goodbye. Good